a big game for you, but um, it just seemed like, like Coach said, you guys are down to a few bodies, and it's like it, at the end, you guys are, are pretty gassed out there, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, we went, I probably played every snap that I possibly could have played tonight, so yeah, I'm pretty gassed, and you know, it is what it is. But. What, how was that the secondary coverage for you? Because like, even when you were making catches, a lot of times they were like right on you a lot of times. I mean, they played good. You know, it's Clemson, top 10 team, you know, they're all going to have good DBs, good defense. But, you know, I just ran my route and made all the contested catches because I knew we had to make them. How different is it, you know, like with Brock in the backfield versus Malik? And what was that like for you guys coming out in the second half knowing that, you know, Malik was going to be gone and Brock was going to have to finish out this game? I mean, Brock's not a, <clears throat> as good of a runner as Malik, so, you know, you kind of he kind of has to rely on us to get open. So, you know, all the receivers telling each other, like, we got to get open, you know, Brock's going to have to throw it. It's not simply because he can't run, but he's just not as good as a runner as Malik is. It felt like you guys were trying to pop, like, you know, big plays because it felt like it, you know, that might have been your best chance. I mean, you know, but you got a couple, but you just didn't get enough. I mean, what can you say about, like, the, the few opportunities that you did have? I'm talking about me or oh, the whole team? The whole team. I mean, I say, I say that we took advantage of half of them, maybe majority of them, but, you know, not getting all of them hurt, and that's why the scoring ended the way it did. So. I was saying, no matter what happens, you guys will still finish at or above 500 with two games left. I mean, I guess what does that just say about this team, knowing what you guys have kind of gone through this season, you know, starting 0-3 in ACC, then, you know, winning four straight? We got heart. I'll probably say that, you know, 0-3, no conference wins, we're, playing, we're beating G5s. It's kind of like, what are we doing? But we had that meeting after that Boston College game and we just let our hearts out and been real with each other. And ever since then, the whole team kind of just turned this page and we'll probably just say we just got a big heart and, you know, I'm a lead fighter, you know, so I'm proud of the team. It just sucks that we can't win the game. How much confidence? How do you now kind of take that into next week and, and try to get that one? And, you know, not knowing if Malik's back or whatever, you've got a lot of injuries. How do you all kind of take that, you know, to try to get the momentum back? Next man up. That's the mentality, you know, next play, next play mentality. And, you know, I'm, I wish Malik was playing. You know, I don't know if he's going to play or not, but even if he isn't, we still got to win. You know, we still got to win at home. Still got to win our last ACC game and try to go eight and four. Can you talk about the effort that Brock did put out there? I mean, he was they were coming after him pretty good and, and he was getting he was getting hit pretty hard and he really kind of put it all out there for you guys. Oh yeah, he's gonna sit in there. We tell him all the time, he tells us all the time, I'm gonna throw the ball and we were like, we're gonna catch the ball. I mean, you know, that's that's what you want out of a quarterback, a second string quarterback that, you know, we had really nothing to lose. We were already down. So all he could do is, you know, try to give us a chance. He told us, I mean, about to throw three touchdowns, or I'm going to throw three interceptions. Well, I'm going to throw it. So, I mean, we stepped up to the challenge, and I'm glad he played how he did. With how resilient this team has been, is it comforting to be able to go back home as opposed to, you know, like before when you guys had the back-to-back -back road games? Yeah, I would say it's definitely more comfortable, you know, because, yeah, we didn't win, but to know that we were right there, just a few plays short, and we played with a top-ten team again, played really well, we just didn't finish it. But I think... I'm, at least I'm going to sit comfortably knowing that we were right there and we had a chance, not just getting blown out and everybody looking at us like, yeah, no, y'all weren't there, y'all didn't have a chance and stuff like that. So. Thank you. Thank you.